scrubbing uh, Tuesday night. How frustrating was that? Because you were, you were going well, looking good for three points, and then completely out of your control, the floodlights go off. Boom. Yeah, I know it's frustrating. Um, I just, in those situations, you have to remember, in the grand scheme of things, that there's nothing more that anyone can do. So it's a case of getting on with it, being frustrating, and hopefully taking what you did in that game into the next one and making it count for double. Yeah, it's important you react in the right way because you could sort of get frustrated and, and re use it in the wrong way or you could use it to make yourself doubly determined to play as well as that again on Saturday, can you? That's what you've got to do. Of course, ultimately, I think it's not like, you know, there's a quick fix to a situation like that. You know, there's a fire in a box. People tried to put it out and unfortunately it didn't work. So I think we showed what we could do Tuesday night. I think we were cruising comfortably and we would have comfortably won the game. But like you said, I think going into the next game, we just have to, to repeat it and make sure that we win convincingly again. Yeah, you started the last two games on the left wing, got your goal against Accrington. Are you enjoying that role? I am very much so. I think it gives me more scope to go forward and get involved more when the ball's a bit deeper, which I like because obviously the way I play, I like to make passes and attack going forward. And I think the way we've played the last two games, away from home and a very, very resounding victory shows that we're capable of playing good football and getting good results at the same time. Yep. Um, you've been given permission to play in the FA Cup by Birmingham, so is Sean Jeffers by Coventry and Marlon by Portsmouth. That must be pleasing to, to know you can be involved on Saturday. It is very much so. It's, it's a, a, the competition needs no introduction, I think. Playing in any FA Cup game is fantastic. I remember when I was in non-league, I played in first qualifying round four years ago and then for Birmingham in the third round proper so it's the first time I've ever played in the first round which is nice yeah and the rewards are obvious aren't they if you can get through a couple of games you could be playing against Birmingham of course that would be absolutely unbelievable to play against a team of Premier League opposition um, I don't know whether I'll be allowed to play against Birmingham but it would be quite nice yeah uh, in terms of the, the way you've been playing in the last couple of games uh, the manager kept it the same for Tuesday probably everyone earned another crack at it after Saturday and I think probably everyone can feel confident again of the same happening after Tuesday because it was a really good performance for 66 minutes wasn't it? It was I, I mean we took the game right to them from the start and we created chance after chance again and I think I said if you keep on creating those chances then ultimately you're going to score goals it doesn't matter if you miss the first one the second one if you keep if you keep getting there you're, you're going to score and I think Tuesday everyone showed at home what we could do and they're not you know they've just been relegated from League One they're not an average team but I think we've performed comfortably and could well have easily gone on to win by 2-3 yeah. you, you had to be a little bit patient when you first came to Cheltenham but now you're getting a, your chance is, is this you know, this why you came here this is what you wanted to be doing of course I just want to enjoy life and play football every day and it's young players today want things too early and they think that everything comes easily I know that there's always something more you can do and I know that if you're willing to do it then if you get a chance in the team I think you'll show what you can do and you have to make sure that you maintain your high standards to make sure that you stay there and I'm just trying to do that every single day yeah, If you carry on enjoying it as much as you have been in two months time will you be keen to stay to prolong it a bit longer? Of course I you know, I think we've got a fantastic chance here of staying in the top seven and it would be amazing to be a part of it, to 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 be in a winning team and to have a chance of going to Wembley because that's what you want to do. You want to play in a progressive side and the, the pot at the end of it is League One football. You know, regardless of where I am at the end of the season, I would love to help Cheltenham achieve that. Just tell me a bit about your uh, previous experiences in the FA Cup then. You played in the first qualifying round. Was that for Harrow? Um, no, I played in the first qualifying round for AFC Wimbledon against a team called Oxy Jets from North London. And we won 2 0. And then I think we got knocked out in the second round. Second qualifying round. I don't know who by. And then I played in the third round proper for Birmingham City on my debut against Wolves um, so that was pretty frightening this is the first time I think I've ever played in the first round proper so. Yeah. 
So you played right at the beginning of the competition, then you played in quite an advanced stage. Yeah. Um, so you've seen you've seen both ends of really what what it can offer. I have. I know. Cause, I mean, obviously the contrasts are massive. You know, you've got the fourth, third, second, and first qualifying rounds before you even make the first round, um, and then obviously the football league, well, the championship and Premier League clubs come in at the third round, and like I said, you win two games from the first round. Inevitably, we're playing against one of them. Everyone must be just desperate for the next game to come along after you being left frustrated on Tuesday. You just want to get back out there and play and keep this keep this kind of form going. Yeah, we wanted to play the next day. You know, it's like it's so frustrating to have that happen when we're in such a commanding position. I think that the sooner the better. I think we're, we've played three good games, including Tuesday coming into Saturday. I think it'll stand us in good stead.